Here we have a gooseneck clam dissection for my students here at Golden West College by a 182 here in Huntington Beach, California. We're going to look at external anatomy first. Here we have the umbo, and the umbo always points anterior, so this is the anterior end of my clam. These lines here are lines of growth. Some science indicates that these lines actually represent number of years the clam is alive. Let's hope this guy isn't 50 years old. And then here at the end, just because uh, they're there, this is the incurrent and excurrent aperture or incurrent and excurrent siphons. Uh, not covered in this course, but they're sticking out, so let's, let's name them. And then we'll come over here uh, to the clamshell proper. This, has been, this is the dissection. And we've taken our scalpel and we've cut the anterior. We've cut the anterior adductor muscle. And we've cut the posterior adductor muscle. In doing so, we've opened the shell. We've also cut through the incurrent and excurrent siphons, but we've exposed this real thin thing called the mantle that lines the shell and creates the shell. The space here is the mantle cavity. Around the outside, we have a pallial muscle. And then if we remove the pallial muscle just a little bit here, we can see the connection to the pallial muscle, the connection of the pallial muscle to the shell, which was right here, is the pallial line. Coming over to the rest of the dissection proper, We've already identified the anterior and posterior adductor muscles. This little thing right here is the foot. Different species of clams have different sizes of foot. This one has a little tiny foot. These striped things are the gills. And we have two sets of gills on the left and two sets of gills on the right. I'm going to flip that up. You can see these tiny little things here are labial palps. They help to put the food in the mouth. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our clam. So here we have our visceral mass that has been mid-sagittally cut. Our visceral mass has been mid-sagittally cut. We can see the posterior foot retractor muscle here. And we can see, pardon my fingers, the anterior foot re retractor muscle right here. Oh, let's get under there. There you go. This space right here is the stomach. They don't have a muscular stomach. And you can kind of see a green hue to the stuff there. That is the digestive gland. All this kind of squishy stuff near the bottom of the visceral mass is gonads. And then we see a little piece right here where there's like a hollow bit. And this is intestine. Now normally in the intestine we're going to find a crystalline style. It kind of looks like a clearish worm, but this one was accidentally cut and then removed when I cleaned the area up. And that's a fact. 